Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode 12 of K Factory. In the last episode, we finished the Twilight Forest without the game crashing, and we also got the ability to make ultimate ingots now because we got the fire ingots from the Hydra. So, in today's episode, we're gonna do some stuff. Mainly, we're gonna craft everything that we need for the ultimate ingot, and hopefully, maybe, we can get infinite RF. With the help of you in the comments, I figured out how to turn off the cloud around my boots. It is from Shadow Step from uh, Corail Tombstone. And if you press J, it opens the config, the knowledge of death. You go into the config, effect, show Shadow Step off, and then you click save and it removes it. With all these patterns, I think we should be good to make the ultimate crafting table. I think I have a recipe for a regular crafting table. Of course it wants 63 <laughs> pestle borders. <sighs> Sadly, this recipe doesn't really work <laughs> because it wants 60, it's gonna want the amount of pestle and mortars that I would want to make the black dye. So what we're gonna do is just grab a pestle and mortar uh, and put it in here with the petals and just make a bunch of the black dye. Crafting table, go. Boom. We have it. Quest completed. Challenges. And then we need the quantum compressor for the ultimate singularity, but we don't need that right now. So here you go, in the floor. Ta-da! These are all the ingots that I have for the ultimate ingot. I made the fire ingots with the fiery blood that I had. You make it in the smithing table, like so. Uh, it also uses fiery tears from the orgast. Ah, I can make another one. There we go. Awesome. And the rest of the ingots that I need, if we grab all of these and try to make the ultimate ingot here, you can shift click it. It's going to show you what you're missing. So we're missing slime steel, tinker's bronze, rose gold. No, we don't, we're not missing rose gold. Pig iron, queen slime. So these are tinkery items that we need to make ingots and then we need HOP graphite which is HOP graphite dust and that's coal coke coke dust since I have blazing blood on an external storage over there by the netherite smelter I just put an exporter here to export blazing blood and I, I don't know why but I hid it in the floor uh, I mean I can hide it in the floor even though this is a temporary smeltery that we're gonna get rid of but it just looks nice for the moment it's just my brain I don't know so firstly I'm gonna make a little bit of queen slime, which is made with magma cream, molten gold, and uh, molten cobalt. So I put in half stack of cobalt ore, and that is making molten queen slime, and we can just do this and export it via ingot casts. I think I said we needed eight total ingots. We can make 18, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to turn you into ultimate components, which eventually will turn into, with mechanical crafting, into the ultimate catalyst with a bunch of HV capacitors, and then into a creative capacitor. If my math is correct, we need this many HV capacitors. I don't know if we need to charge all of these. So I think we can try one recipe and I need to make the ultimate component. One, two, three, four. And moment of truth is overstressed. Add more sources, slow down to components. Okay. Um, go. Okay, we'll add a rotational speed controller then. It's working. Slowly increasing the speed. Oh, okay. 48 works. <laughs> cool. This looks so great. I really like this. Hmm. Okay. I should probably just read the quest. All of the capacitors need to be fully charged. It's not annoying if you automate crafting, charging, and breaking them. That is the thing that needs to happen for which we possibly need more power <laughs> than the uh, than these. We have enough steel to throw together a small-ish reactor, and we can just put the capacitors into like a placer breaker thing, and 
That should be easy enough to do, I think. 7 by 7 seems like a good number, right? This was extremely simple to set up. We have a 7x7 reactor with control rods every other block in a checkerboard, and I have diamond blocks in between, and the reactor makes, I think, like 15k something Fe per tick. We're gonna see once it drains uh, all the way, but before I show you how the redstone control works, which is super simple, I'm gonna show you this, because the reactor is gonna turn on uh, in a moment, and you can see the redstone control in effect. But basically, the placer places an HV capacitor. We have a plug that is connected, or a point that is connected to that plug on the same network. This charges at 4,000 Fe per tick, which is fairly slow, but that's the, ma the max that this guy can accept. And if we pay attention over here to the pulses for the moment, you're gonna see a pulse over there. There it goes. So the reactor now turned on, and that is gonna turn off. And then when the reactor reaches 95%, this is going to trigger, and it's going to trigger the reactor off. And it's simple in here. Uh, I can break this one now that I can show you. So in here, you can set the energy stored, and you can then set active while below, active between, or active while above. So I have this set to active while below, 5%. This one is set to active while above 95%. And then this middle one is set to this. If we go here... You can set it to on and off, and you can set it toggle on pulse, which is the best thing ever. So if we go back here, save it as that, that should work again. So basically, anytime this receives a pulse, it turns on or off. So at 95%, turns off. At 9, at 5%, it turns on. So basically, we don't waste fuel by just constantly generating heat and power that we don't need. So it makes the internal buffer of 9.5 million Fe of power, and then it drains. It fills up pretty much two of these, and then it turns on again. So here, I can just toss in all of my capacitors now, and just let this go. And eventually, we should have a bunch of HV capacitors. As far as the destructor is concerned, I just set it to exact mode on a whitelist, and I put in the HV capacitor with full charge, and it detects when it has full charge and breaks it, and it goes into the system. So currently, we're at 12. Since we're making 15,000 RF per tick, we can split it amongst three chargers. I originally wanted like eight chargers, but then I quickly realized that we're not producing enough power. But three times the speed is more than one times the speed, so uh, it will be at least three times faster. Uh, in the meantime, I had to make more flux points, and I ran out of flux, and this is a simple solution on how to manually make a lot of flux. So if I grab a uh, full inventory of redstone dust. We have to left click the obsidian with redstone underneath it and the flux block underneath it. So we toss it here, left click. This constructor breaks whatever is placed here. The constructor up top places a new obsidian. So I can just do this. Full inventory of flux. We have enough for our first thingy. It's doing it. Hopefully this time it is successful. Now that they're all charged. It should be. Boop. Did it. Ultimate catalyst. Now 
I need four of these to make the creative capacitor. The second one is being crafted. And here is the last one being crafted. And you can see I have more HV capacitors because we're actually going to make two of these once more of them charge. But with this and this, we have creative power, which feels way too simple. And we can turn it into a creative motor, hence why I want to make another one, because that is going to give us an infinite amount of stress and rotational speed, I believe, for free. Which we kind of now already have, because what we can just do is we can go up here. We can take this flux plug. We don't need it anymore. Uh, we come down here, up, 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 storage. And if we take our creative capacitor, flux plug, we have an input of 1.4 bajillion powers. And we can then take this, put it here, and this can run all the time. It says it's overstressed. Why are you overstressed? I mean, oh, I might have scroll wheeled a little bit. Okay. It's now no longer overstressed, but this can just drain however much it wants. 3,000? No problem. We have uh, more than 3,000. So essentially, what we could do is we could set more of these down, and we don't have to use the reactor anymore. I can just change these to power. I could make more than eight, but eight should be fine. <laughs> there we go. Uh, They're all going to charge and do their thing, and we are now draining. 35,000 RF per tick, which uh, is no problem. And I think I'll just remove the reactor because I don't think we need it anymore. This is the last catalyst, ultimate catalyst that we need to make another capacitor of the uh, creative variety, like so. Uh, and this one, we're gonna turn e with a deployer and a furnace engine into, okay, we can use a creative capacitor to turn a furnace engine into a creative motor with a deployer. Gotcha. The furnace engine is made in a 3x3 crafting thing like this. There we go. And the deployer should be doing its thing if I give you this. Huzzah! Creative motor. Awesome. So this guy, if we let's say replace this engine, because it's no longer necessary, we put this guy here. We can just set it to 56. It's 4.194 million and 304 stress units at current speed. In between the charging of the HV capacitors, I started working on this. And I'm not going to go into it in this episode because it's going to require a whole lot more work to get it functioning and looking cool. So I'm going to do that in the next episode. For this one, we got a creative generator. We got a creative motor. Those are super duper amazing things, and in the next episode, we can hopefully, maybe, start working on the base. At least, maybe on that part, more than anything else. But, it's gonna happen soon. Any hoozle, with that, I wanna thank you all so much for watching. I am really hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. You can also subscribe to get notified of when new videos go live. And you can also support me on Patreon as well if you want. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.